Now I recognize uh, Representative Alford from the great state of Missouri for five minutes. Mr. Chair, I yield 30 seconds to the uh, gentlelady from Florida, Ms. Salazar. She left. Oh, apparently she left. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I think she had a follow up. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, and uh, thank you, uh, Ranking Member, for holding this important uh, hearing today. And thank you, Inspector General Ware, for actually showing up and doing your job. We very much appreciate that. Uh, the stolen PPE and EIDL funds are stolen taxpayer dollars, and that is money that is stolen from the constituents of everyone here, the, the people that we represent, in my case, the 4th Congressional District of the great state of Missouri. The Inspector General estimates the fraud is over $200 billion, as you've said, uh, and the SBA Administrator says it's somewhere in the neighborhood of $36 billion. This calls into question why the SBA should increase their scope to oversee more lending, especially with fintechs. In November, America elected a Republican House majority because they were sick and tired of the incompetence and blatant disregard shown by the Biden-Harris administration. A core job of this committee is to conduct oversight, and we all showed up today to do our job. It's time for the administrator to show up and do hers, to answer us, to answer to the American people. The title on that name card starts with honorable. There is nothing honorable about not showing up to do your job. So I'm going to ask her questions anyway. She needs to be here. And hopefully, wherever she is, she will hear these questions. Administrator Guzman, the report you released estimates the fraud to be around $36 billion, while the Inspector General's report says it's closer to $200 billion. What is the reason for the large discrepancy? Administrator Guzman, the Inspector General's office has decades of experience doing this and are subject matter experts when it comes to fraud, waste, and misuse. Why does your team know better than the actual experts? These concerning numbers, Administrator Guzman, come during a time the SBA wants to oversee more fintech lending, much of what contributed to the fraud. Why should this committee be confident in the SBA's ability to act as a regulator for fintechs? Thank you, Administrator Guzman. Now moving on to you, Inspector General Ware. Uh, again, thank you for showing up today. Um, did President Trump cause this fraud, $200 billion worth of fraud? I, not that I know of, no. Thank you very much, because know. there seems to be some in this room who want to blame Trump for everything. He did not bring down the Hindenburg. He did not sink the Titanic. He did not cause this fraud. We're here to get to the bottom of it and get the money back to the taxpayers. Do you feel the same way? Um. I feel that I want to get the money back to the taxpayers and get to the bottom of the fraud, yes. At the outset of COVID, the House and Senate came together to get money out the door fast. The goal was to move fast, so it was expected there would be some fraud. But that was over three years ago, and Biden has taken minimal efforts to recoup these funds during his two years in office. In the last two years, from what you have seen and investigated, has the SBA enhanced any of their internal controls or improved any of their efforts to mitigate, reassess, and get that money back for the taxpayers? Yes, they have. Um, my report um, actually goes down a list of the many things that they have done, especially in response to the recommendations that we have worked hard to resolve with, with, with the agency. Do you feel confident that we are moving forward and can move forward, should this happen again, that we will have the tools in place, the regulatory tools in place, to limit and mitigate fraud? I feel confident that we are moving in that direction. There has to be a focus on eliminating self-certification in these type of government programs. Well, Inspector General, again, I, I thank you for, for being here today. Uh, it is very disappointing that someone that we pay out of the federal taxpayers' dollars uh, and now the U.S. Treasury cannot be here to answer questions in the uh, primary oversight uh, capacity that we have um, to help us all do better, to help Americans, to help small businesses. Um, it's just a shame, and I'm very disappointed. I'm very disgusted. Thank you, and I yield back.